Well, this week we have been studying and focusing on the kingdom principle of divine provision. Somebody say with me, divine provision. Come on, say it one more time, divine provision. And we've been studying the book, Kingdom Principles for Living the Divine Life. And this is week number six, the kingdom principle of divine provision. And so today our scripture is found in Ephesians chapter three and verse number 20. Again, that's Ephesians chapter three and verse number 20. It says in Ephesians chapter three and verse number 20, now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or even think according to the power that works within us. And our subject for today is don't get it twisted. Yes, don't get it twisted. Many times people uh, confuse, um, are not really clear about who their source is and not really clear that God is their provider, that God is their supplier, that they get that twisted with the means, the vehicle by which uh, God flows that prosperity through. So it is important that in order for you to stay in a place of prosperity, of increase, abundance, overflow, and more than enough, that you can't get it twisted, you know, because when one door closes, God opens a, a better door. The door was not your supplier. The door was not your provider. It was the resource. It was the vehicle that God had opened in order to have that good flow to you. So when one door closes, God opens up um, a better door. When a window closes, God opens up a bigger window. And so God is progressive. And so whatever is going on, always go back to God. Always go back to God in you. Don't struggle at the, with the door. Don't struggle with the window. Don't struggle with the vehicle that God is flowing through to bring your good to you. Always go back to God. Always go back within. Always go back to your breath, to the life energy, to the life source that is within you. So don't get it twisted. The window is not your, uh, is not your God. The Bible says, God says, I will open up a window and pour out upon you blessings that you don't have room enough to receive. God just opens the window so the blessings can flow to you. The door is not your provider. God is just flowing through that door and that door can open or close. But God is the one that is blessing you. God is the one that is supplying your needs. God is the one who is um, giving you the desires of your heart. It is God. And so therefore you always give God the glory. You appreciate people. You thank them. You're grateful for what they're doing, what they have done, what they're going to do. But always remember it is God flowing through that person. It is God flowing through your employer. It is God flowing through your business. It is God flowing through your local assembly. It is God flowing through the government. The government is not your source. The government is not your supplier. The government is not your provider. Wherever you work, your pension, none of those things. Those are just resources. Those are just vehicle that God flows through. And the Bible says that God supplies your needs according to God's riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Not according to any window, door, vehicle, resource, however you desire to see it. It is always God. So when it comes to your needs being met and your desires being fulfilled, always go back to God. Can I say that again? When it comes to your needs being met, everything that you desire is done through God. And always going back to God and then God uses people. The Bible says give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure on and over. It says people are going to give to your bosom, but it's God and the people are the vehicles through which God brings that good to you. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart um, if you are understanding that, if you are processing that, because sometimes we can get it twisted. We can get so focused on the vehicle that we forgot it was God that was flowing through that vehicle. Sometimes we can become so attached to the door that we think it's the door. 
Sometimes we can become so attached to this window, to this job, to this uh, relative, to this, where we go always go back to them instead of going back to God. God is your source. God is the one who provides for your needs, and God is the one who supplies you with the desires of your heart. And so when we forget that it's God, when we get it twisted, things happen in the, with those vehicles so that you will remember that it's God. Things happen with those doors so that you can remember. That's why the door closes, so you can remember that it's God. Sometimes things happen with those windows so that you can remember that it's not the window, it's God. Sometimes things happen in relationships so that you will know that it is God and not that person. Sometimes things happen on the job, happen with the government. The, gov the economy goes down or the job downsizes. So you can always go back to God as your provider. So you can always go back to God as your source. God will flow through many different people, then through many different channels, through many different conduits, through many different resources. But at the end of the day, it is God. I'm leaning and depending on God. I am uh, completely relying on God. Not people, not places, not things. I'm totally trusting in God. The Bible says vain is the man, is the person that puts their trust in man as your source. You, you know, God is your source. So always go back to God. Always make sure that you are seeing God through this person. God through this place, God through this thing, but it is always God. And so therefore, God is where I go to. And I don't know, I'm not always clear what way God is going to flow, how God is going to provide, what vehicle God is going to use, but I know that it's God that is supplying everything that I need. I know it's God who is providing for my need and giving me my heart's desire. So let's just take a moment to go within and remind ourselves of the truth. That I don't have to suffer financially because I'm remembering in this moment that God is the provider of my needs and the supplier of my desires. Come on, let go of the suffering. Let go of the financial challenge. Let go of all that's going on and go back to God because God is the one. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it mixed up and don't get it confused. That God is your father. Come on, take another deep conscious cleansing breath. Hold it and release. Breathe in again. Hold it and let it go. Inhale one more time and slowly exhale. Doesn't that feel good to go back to God? All right, so don't get it twisted. Pull it point number one. Don't get it twisted between the source and the resource. Don't get it twisted. God is my source. Everything and everyone else is a resource. The resource might change, but the source never changes. He says, I am your God. I am the God that changeth not. That I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So the resources might change, but God never changes. God is my source. Everything and everyone else is a resource. And when the resource changes, I go back to the source. I don't try to make the resource function. I go back to the source. So don't get it twisted. When something happens with the resource, you're always going back to the source. The purpose of the resource is to point you back to the source that is within you. The resource, you know that God is flowing through a particular person, place, or thing because they're always pointing you back within. Notice what the scripture says. Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you could ask or think, but it's according to the power of that works within you. God in you is your source. The power is inside of you. So I'm not focused on the resource. I appreciate it. I thank it. I bless it. But I always go back to the source and that source is inside of me. So everything I need is inside of me. Everything I desire is inside of me. I have the power to create it, to manifest it, to bring it into expression because it's inside of me. It's according to um, the power that works in me. The same way it says, according to the riches and glory in Christ Jesus, the scripture says, 
that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that works within you. So pulling point number one, don't get it twisted. God is the source and everything and everyone else is a resource. And if you ever get it twisted, you always know that something's going to happen with that resource so that you can go back within, which is your source, which is God. So um, sources and uh, God is a source and everything else is a resource. Pulley point number two. God is the electricity and everything and everyone else is the, is the conduit. You know, a conduit covers over the electrical wires. It protects them and it allows the currency of the electricity to flow through the conduit. And so people, places, and things, I'm giving you another metaphor, like source and resource, electricity and conduit. Don't ever get the electricity confused with the conduit. Don't ever think that the conduit is the electricity. The power is God. There's only one power and one presence in all the universe. And that power and that presence is God. That power and that presence is good. It is in us. It is flowing through us. And it is functioned as us. God is my power. God is my electricity. Everything and everyone else is a conduit. A ch uh, through which the electricity flows, but God is the electricity. God is the power. God is the source, and everything else in everyone else is a conduit. God is flowing through the conduit, but the conduit is not my source. God is my source. The conduit is not the electricity. It is the through, it is the vehicle through which the electricity flows, but God is the electricity, the power, according to the power, according to the electricity, according to the current that is inside of you. So always go back within, always go back to the electricity, always go back to the power and realize that there's a difference between the conduit and the power, the electricity. And don't ever get it twisted and think that the conduit is the electricity. It is not. The power is within you, all right? So pulley point number one, don't get it twisted between the source and the resource. Pulley point number two, don't get it twisted between the electricity and the conduit. And so appreciate, you need the conduit. Thank God for the conduit. The electricity um, is not able to flow safely if there's not a conduit. But the conduit is not the electricity. The electricity is within you. The power is within you. God is within you. And so you're not dependent on the conduit. You recognize the conduit for what the conduit is. But the real power, the real electricity is inside of you. According to the power, the consciousness, the awareness that is inside of you. Pulley point number three. Don't get the water twisted with the channel. All right? Don't get the water twisted with the channel. So God is like the water. And then the water flows through a channel in order to get to you. And so don't get confused and think that the channel that's bringing the water to you is the water. No, that is the channel. And so God can flow through various channels but God is the water. God is the source. God is what it is that you need. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Not the, 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 the channel is my shepherd. No, don't get it twisted. God is the water flowing through the channel. That God is the electricity flowing through the conduit. That God is the source flowing through the resource. I'm going to say that again. God is the water flowing through the channel. That God is the electricity flowing through the conduit. That God is the, um, the source flowing through the resource. God is the water flowing through the channel. That God is the electricity flowing through the conduit. That God is the source flowing through the resource. Don't ever get it twisted. Because whenever you have a financial challenges in your life, it's because you got it twisted. You got dependent. You got reliant on something or someone else other than God. You started looking outside of you instead of going within. It's according to the power that works within you. The water is in you. He said, I will be in you. A well of living water springing up 
to everlasting life. The power is within you. According to the power, the electricity is inside of you. So if something happens with the conduit, I can go to the source of the electricity inside of me. If something happens with the resource, I'll go back within to the source that is inside of me. Because I know who God is. And I know that God is my source. I know that God is my electricity. And I know that God is my water. I know that God flows through different resources but it is God that is my source. I know God is electricity, flows through various conduits, but God is the power. I know that God is the water flowing through various channels, but God is the water. And as long as you can keep that straight in your consciousness, your prosperity will flow. Your increase will flow. Your abundance will flow. Your overflow will flow. Yes, your overflow will flow. But whenever you get it twisted and get confused and get attached and dependent on a channel, on a conduit or a resource, that's when stuff starts going crazy. Because God said, wait a minute. Mm -mm. You got it twisted. You forgot that it's me, that I am the provider of your needs and the supplier of the desires of your heart.